In today's video, I'll be going over every unique callout that you need to know for the map cafe. Let me know down in the comments what map you want to see next from us, and I'll try to do every single map that you guys want to see when it comes to unique callouts. Now, before I get into the video, I just want to explain what a unique callout briefly is. Now, if you look at the bottom right of my screen, there's a compass, and it basically tells you what room you're in. For example, I'm in Riverdox exit, which is a spawn. And once I get inside the building, it will tell me where I'm at. For example, I'm in reception, I'm by bar. But what a unique callout basically is, it's a more precise in-depth callout that you can quickly say so you know precisely where an enemy might be. So let's get right into it. So we're going to start upstairs in bar. So first, when you enter, this would be called cart. If somebody was tucked in this corner, this entire part, if someone's on the in inside of the bar, it would call be called inner bar. If they're on the outside, it would be called outer bar. This is trash door. If they were on the freezer door here, this is more precise because there's a bag of tra trash here. On the other side, you would just call this freezer door because it's a leading into the freezer. Usually there's a rotate here, you would just call it uh, freezer rotate. If they're under the new hatch, sitting right here, this is called Shiko. This is usually where Shiko plays. He's a pro league player, if you didn't know who Shiko was. It's just a short term uh, version because he usually just plays around this area. This is bar one. This is bar two. This is bar two rotate, because usually there's a rotate right there where I knifed. And then we go into cocktail lounge. This is C1 c2 and c3 this is called heaven balcony you can just say heaven you can just say if he, if someone's behind the heaven bar behind heaven bar if the person was precisely right behind uh or on top of the cocktail lounge hatch you could just call cocktail lounge hatch this would be wood plaques if they're tucked in the corner you can say tucked right of wood plaques let's go to the under new hatch you would just call this under new Cigar shop, I, I personally call it CS. It's just a quick, shorter version of cigar shop. This little desk, if they were behind it or on the inside, you would say inner J desk, outer J desk, CS box, because it's a box. Now next, this is called usually cigar lounge, but what I heard a lot of players uh, call this is just piano room or just piano. Now the issue with that is there is a piano right here, so we, we need more precise callouts. For example, this is usually called ticket bar or cigar bar. I personally just call it ticket in all honesty. Uh, this is couches. If they were behind the one of the couches, you would say couches. Usually there's a shield in this corner right here watching the, you know, ticket jump in. So you would just call this a uh, pixel or I call it bitch corner. I would call this piano stage or just stage for a shorter call out. If they were around the Christmas tree, I would just call it maybe clock or on the Christmas tree in cigar. I would call this white hallway because of course it's a white hallway. Call this bathroom or washroom, doesn't really matter. I'm Canadian, so uh, I just call it bathroom. Next, let's go down into pillar. Now, usually there's a few different callouts for this pillar door. I usually just maybe call it pillar door. I have seen people call this uh, snow door because it's the only place that's leading up into snow. Um, I've also heard it be called hell because, you know, heaven and then hell. So the thing about callouts and especially uni callouts is it can be very uh, different from person to person and squad to squad. So just keep that in mind with these callouts. I would call this dark spot. It's under new or I can just say under new um, balcony or I would call it pillar double window. Going into reading, I would if someone's tucked right of reading, I would just say tucked right, tucked left. Behind the couch, behind the half flip cabinet. Um, there isn't really much precise callouts in reading from what I've heard before. Uh, there's usually a rotate on reading, so reading rotate going into uh, laundry. You would of course call this laundry. Uh, this reading 
hallway if they were somewhere in this hallway i would call it reading 90. now the reason why people call uh hallways 90 is because this is a 90 degree angle so it's just an easier call out so any type of hallway that's like this you would just call it a uh, blank you know 90 hallway this is of course fireplace this is of course train museum you can call back train or green train uh middle train or red train there's nothing really that precise that you need this is mining this is museum entrance these are the red staircases of course and the bottom of the staircases usually you would call it harry potter so this is just what i call that is a red harry potter going down into small bakery i've heard people call this a wedding or just small going inside bakery this is of course just called bakery um if somebody was behind this little half wall you would say bakery half wall you can say inner or outer going into prep this is of course just prep prep window i've called this k1 and then k2 because it's a kitchen stove so i just call it you know k1 k2 now this is prep window uh i've also heard this be called maybe flower because of these like flower bags and you know there's flour here even though it looks like mashed potatoes um this also i've heard it called safe uh the reason being because you know you can't play vertical comparing to the rest of the site where you can play vertical now on the inner bunker right here i've heard this be called coffee because of these latte machines um you could also call it you know maybe bunker but i i stick to coffee because it's more precise in my opinion this is freezer freezer window this is uh sinks because you know there's a bunch of dishes and it's like liter literal sinks where you clean dishes so if somebody was back here on uh, k2 and they were maybe tucked on trash you can call it trash this would be called red hallway now if you're a little bit uh confused um with you know because if you go upstairs back when reading 90 like i was talking about um just make sure you call that reading 90 and then this is red hall just because the red carpet here and you know there, there's really nothing else you can call it like main corridor is a little bit um very non-precise you could also call this kitchen double door bar double door right here um, because, you know, it's a big door. It, it's usually, you know, there would be two sets of uh, doors here. This is a bar slash whiskey. I've heard it called whiskey. Um, because there's a lot of bars on this map. So just calling this whiskey kind of makes more sense in my opinion. This is reception. And I call this coat closet, coat check, or just coat. Because, you know, the coat racks, you put your coats there. Next area is VIP. Now, I usually just call it like VIP Christmas tree or VIP Christmas or just uh, VIP, of course. This is VIP double door. Um, this is, I would call this maybe white hallway or freezer hallway or VIP hallway. Uh, this is uh, bottom white, of course. So yeah, I would just call this white hallway probably. Uh, dining area over here, I would just maybe call it dining. If someone was coming from dining uh, double window, I would say du dining double. And this is called brown. These, the staircase is called brown. I, I've been in a solo queue atmosphere where players will call this main. And it, it was the most confusing, you know, call out of my life. So if you're calling this main staircase, call it brown instead. Because it's literal brown. A lot of the call outs, you know, it comes from color textures. For example, like white hallway, red hallway. You know, it's just very easy to like flick into your mind you don't need to think about it so you understand what they're saying you're painting a quick little picture with like a quick little call out slash word so that's the kind of the whole point of a unique call out is to just you know get the point in get the knowledge get the info the whole point is basically to get the information through your head as quick as possible and they're able to paint a picture in your head so that's kind of the whole point of all these uh call outs now, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure that you like, sub, and comment, and let me know your thoughts and opinions on today's video. Like I said, uh, callouts are, you know, relatively either universal when it comes to unique callouts, or they can be from team to team. You may call something that I've called out uh, something different, and that's totally okay, but, you know, this is just something that I've uh, came to learn from Pro League, from YouTube videos, from uh, players that I've played with. So, it really comes from person to person, but this is basically the, the universal unique callouts I've heard from all these uh, 
people. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on today's video. And uh, let me know what video you want to see next from us when it comes down to unique callouts, what map. Could be Clubhouse or could be any newer maps if you guys want. But besides that, make sure that you like, sub, and comment. And if you enjoyed the video, um, make sure that you subscribe. Besides that, this is Garfield's dog from Disub Gaming. You guys have a lovely day. One love.